Hey guys, we're doing 3-3 practice and problem solving math Excel for Envision 6th grade math, grade 6 math. Over the order of operations, we have numerical expressions here in 3-4. We'll get into algebraic expressions. And um, for this, you can use a calculator as long as you show your steps going down like this. And you can't put the whole thing in, but for example, the order of operations is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, first come, first serve with those, because they have the same superpowers if they were superheroes. In addition and subtraction from left to right, first come, first serve with that. And we're going to see an example of that right here. So, yeah, the first one, you had, uh, in sixth grade, we're using rational numbers, which are fractions and decimals. They can be put in the form of A over B as a rational number. So um, I have a calculator here, and you are allowed to do 1.4 plus 6.1 in the cat. Now, I can do it in my head, and you probably can too, but I'm just trying to make a point that you don't have to have all these side calculations off to the side because it's hard enough to know what to do first. So I'm just saying if there's any parents watching this and you're trying to help your child, um, sixth grade in the United States does let you use a calculator for this part. But you still got to show all this other stuff and, and know what, which one of these to do first. Now it's coming up to a very important, and we did the parentheses first, very important part because you got to rewrite the expression and next, we did parentheses, now we're doing exponents. Remember 3-1, we learned about exponents? It's because of this right here. So 6 squared, I got to tell you, a lot, of, um, a lot of 6th graders think that this is 6 times 2. Don't make that mistake. I made it when I was a kid. Every year, I've been teaching 6th grade for 13 years, and every year, they make this mistake. This is 6 times 6. That's 36. Okay. There we go. I'm really glad. Remember when we were talking about superpowers before? We're down to subtraction or addition. Now, a lot of people think addition comes first. They have the same superpowers. So when it's just down to subtraction and addition, it's first come, first serve. In this case, the first to come is 36 minus 7.5. Okay? Now, if you're doing this off to the side, you can see how obnoxious this would be to be doing so many of these off to the side. But I wanted to make a point that I see a lot of students making a mistake is they're not lining up their decimals or place values. So make sure you're lining up your decimals and place values. Don't forget what we did in topic one, right guys? All right, so 28.5, 28 and five tenths or 28 and one half. Now we add on to get a flat 30. That's the order of operations. A lot of steps. Admittedly, a lot of steps. A lot of room for error. Don't forget how to do that. So one half squared means one half times one half, but we got to do the parentheses first. So we're going to do 3.6 plus 8.4, which you can do. I'll teach you how to do it in your head. We don't really need the calculator. This one, you see the 0.6 added the 0.4? That would equal 1, okay? So I'm going to take this 0.4 here and give it here. This is how you do things in your head. And this is now 4. And this is now 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we got that done. Now. This is 12, again, times 1 half squared. Let me make sure you've seen that. 1 half squared is 1 half times 1 half. That's 1 fourth. And 12 times 1 fourth. Let me just show you how to do that one, okay? And it is 12 over 1 times 1 over 4. So that equals 12 over 4, which is 12 divided by 4, guys. That's 3. So 
So three. If I can get it in there. Oh, got a race. All right. So here we have three squared. That's nine. So nine goes in here. And then we have to do the parentheses. So in, within the parentheses, we have to do order of operations. Um, so that's uh, 12, of course. And then we are going to do the multiplication and set the subtraction. So 12 times 4 is 48. And then the subtraction. And again, for things like this, you can use a calculator for it. Well, I almost think it's easier not to just do it on paper. For me, it's um, a little harder writing on the screen, if you know what I mean. Plus, it takes a little bit more time. Did I get it right? I think I did right, guys. All right, so I'll write this one. We're going to do the parentheses first. So 6.9, so we have 1.4 plus 6.9. And then um, that is eight point three. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I, I mean, I see how this might be intimidating to some. And here we have what's known as nested parentheses. We're going to do the parentheses first and then the bracket. <sighs> Great idea to just put it right in the calculator. 17. So it is now 3 squared times 17 minus 32. Now within the... Um, now that we've done the nested parentheses, we're going to do the exponent. 3 squared is 9, so you have 9 times 17. We still have parentheses there. And now 9 times 17, feel free to plug that right in and get 153. Wow, all of, the, all of that, guys, just to get this 153 again. Oh boy, what the heck? Where'd I go wrong, guys? Sometimes you can type things in wrong. 153. Okay, I'll go through what might have happened. Divide it by 9. That was 17. That worked out. All right, guys. Now, see if you can figure out the mistake before I do. Now we have 9 times 17. It's 153 minus 32. Ooh. Did you see it? 121. Mr. Jacobs, oh my goodness. Part of math is to ask yourself, does this make sense? And 153 minus 32 is 121, Mr. Jacobs, not 21. Step in the common sense corner, Mr. Jacobs. Does that make sense? No, it did not, but we all make mistakes, and that's okay. 
that's all right. I did not submit. We still have one more to go. And you guys probably want to know how to do this one, if anyone's even watching this. So let's see. How do we do this? Ah, how do you know which part of the numerical expression to evaluate first? Explain. Well, look at that. We got parentheses there. We have brackets. This is a term. And this whole thing is a term. So you could just solve this term and this term and then subtract them. But within the brackets are the nested parentheses. And within the nested parentheses, we would do this exponent here. Let's see. Use the order of operations. Add or subtract from left to right. Multiply or divide from left to right. Then inside the brackets. Then inside the brackets. That sounds like the opposite of what we do. Not A. Use the order of operations. Compute inside the parentheses, then inside the brackets. So, yep, inside the parentheses, then the brackets. Then add and subtract, and finally multiply and divide. No, we multiply and divide first, not B. Use the auto order of operations. Compute inside the parentheses, then inside the brackets. No, we do the parentheses first, the nested ones first, then the brackets. Oh, wait, yeah. Compute inside the parentheses first, which is the nested parentheses, then inside the brackets, then multiply. Then multiply or divide. Where are the exponents? Did they mention that? Finally, add or subtract. I guess they forgot to mention the exponents. Anyway, this was Order of Operations Numerical Expressions. Hope this helped you. My name is Jason Jacobs. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.